Good morning, beautiful people. Greetings from the nest. And look at this winter wonderland happening right now. And it's very cozy and warm inside here, and I'm glad I don't have to go out and deal with it. So if you are dealing with winter weather right now, I hope you're all well and safe. But I'm warm and cozy. I just fed the birdies. And you and I have a lot of catching up to do. I've missed you guys. Um, obviously, I didn't do a vlog last week. And there have been major, major, major life changes going on. And I'm going to share with you. Um, I'm staying very focused and positive. And if you follow me on Facebook, you're already aware of some of this. If not, I'll give you the full update. Um, but yeah, lots of changes here and all mainly involving diet and things like that. So I'll share with you, uh, some things I've gotten, gotten rid of, including my coffee pot and there's the juicer again. I got a new food scale. I've never had one of these before. Check that out. Oh my goodness. I can weigh food now. What do we got? Yeah, hello. So, uh, yeah, there's some coffee concentrate. And I am diffusing a little eucalyptus oil right now. And have I told you lately how much I love you? I've really, really missed you guys. And again, I have a lot, a lot, a lot to tell you about. So... Let me get the tripod set up and I will meet you on the couch uh, with a cup of tea. Well, good morning. Okay, guys, I had to go back and watch the last vlog from two weeks ago to see where kind of we left off with the story. And that's what today's going to pretty much be is like, I'm going to be talking to you here. Uh, so, um... When I left off with you guys, and this is going to be pretty much a health update, um, b because this is what my life focus is right now. When I last saw you, I was going for an MRI of my right shoulder for pain I've had since November, and follow up to possible torn rotator cuff and bone cyst, right? That was shown on an x-ray. So I went for the MRI. And uh, it was actually, and Tom has been with me every single solitary step of the way, I have to tell you, plus the flooding of love and support I'm getting, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, Tom's been with me through all this. Um, when I went for the MRI, they were playing the Beatles, right? And it was the White Album, and I was like, yeah, and I could, they gave you headphones so you could listen to the music while you're in the MRI, which is like so claustrophobic and banging, you know? And uh, the tech, the kid, the kid, they're all kids to me. I feel like, I, you know, if, if you're younger than my kids. Anyway, uh, I said, oh, who's your favorite Beatle, you know? And he was like, uh, I don't really listen to the Beatles. Like, you could tell it wasn't even a familiar thing to him. So talk about feeling old. But uh, anyway, so I had the MRI done of the shoulder and we carried on, went home that night, and the next morning at like 10 o'clock in the morning, I got a call from the doctor himself, which is a rare thing, uh, from his personal cell phone telling me that he had read the MRI results and that I should call him right back. So I was like, oh my goodness, when the doctor calls, you know. Uh, so I called him back and... He told me that he specializes in uh, sports medicine. And I, I think if you guys remember, I was referred to ortho kind of as a stat thing. So I didn't pick him as a doctor or anything. Long story short, he wanted to refer me to an orthopedic specialist for further follow-up because really basically all he does is treat athletes and give cortisone injections, right? Which I already had a cortisone injection. So... I was like, yeah, of course. So he gave me the name of a doctor and Tom and I went to meet with her and she basically was, she was very concerned of the findings of the MRI and said that I had some type of a growth coming out of the bone itself. 
that as far as she could see did not look normal my actual um, bones are fine but the shoulder area right so to validate or you know she ordered an MRI with contrast and again Tom's with me the whole step of the way and I could tell that she was very serious you know this wasn't like oh and she said and I do have a small tear in my rotator cuff PS fun fun right so that day we went we stayed right there and we went and had an MRI with contrast where they inject you with radioactive uh, no uh, iodine and um, they get a better picture right so they did just my like my upper body my shoulder and my chest area so when they got the results she got the results of that she showed me this swelling of my you know and I'm not a radiographer I'm an RN I've been an RN since 1992 but I don't specialize in reading you know laboratory results and things like that so uh, or x-rays um, anyway I can't I can't even focus focus she saw something there um, she did say the word tumor you know um, she didn't say the word cancer and a tumor and cancer are both just an abnormal growth of cells um, and so there's also what she saw on the MRI uh, was a spot on my lung and one thing I do know is that um, first of all things change but usually things don't show up on an MRI with contrast anything smaller than a centimeter so but it looked small to me so that being said and I'm gonna I have a, a heating pad here <laughs> um, thank you Tom and my little pillow cushion and he's giving me all the comforts um, yeah wow uh, wow right she referred me to an oncologist and I'm going for a complete bone scan full body bone scan um, uh, at, at the end of the month and I'll keep you guys posted as much as I can um, I have not done any art I've obviously this has been since I found out so two weeks ago that Wednesday night it has been a whirlwind of this right <clears throat> I have an appointment with an oncologist. I have an appointment for a bone scan. I'm getting an appointment for a needle biopsy. Okay. And that is where um, I, well, I'll talk about this in a minute. Let me, let me, I'm healing. Okay. I have too much going on. I'm not going to, oh, I don't want to cry. <clears throat> I need your positive energy. I need your prayers. <clears throat> and I have nothing, I have no diagnosis yet. So I am not counting my chickens before they're hatched. I'm staying positive. I'm in full on healing mode. If there's anything I could do to heal myself, I'm doing it. Tom is with me 150%. He's doing this too. And I am going to continue as much as possible, 100%, to heal myself nutritionally and holistically and therapeutically. Um, I'm not going to project anything, but long term, I do not want to ingest any type of toxins to deal with things. Um, again, I'm projecting. So right now, my biggest issue still is just pain my shoulder hurts and a lot of that could be related to the rotator cuff but that's my biggest issue <clears throat> get it together Callie <clears throat> and this hoarse throat but I have to touch base with you guys because I love you and I know you you're wondering what's going on and again I've done a few things on Facebook where you know I've um, updated people but <clears throat> excuse me and out of respect for my family you know my children um, things like that I had to make sure that, ev that everybody was in the loop first and um, and not to be an alarmist 
um, but this is where we're at and you could have knocked me off my wheelchair I wasn't expecting that kind of news um, I do have to say though and I still am planning you know it's funny I was I keep talking about doing my two-year vegan update and intermittent fasting for a year and how healthy I am and how I've come such a long way because for years you know from literally the time I was like 13 until my 40s I treated my body like crap I smoked I ate crap I you know it's just it's a whole I'll save it for another video I've talked about this so I'm not surprised that I've caused damage to my body and it takes time to heal but that being said I'm doing we I got a team behind me all you guys too you know I need your energy and your love and support and I feel it and everyone who sent me blessings and his prayers and lit candles and sent love and I just the outpouring is phenomenal and I hope you feel me back I am having a hard time typing on the you know reaching and typing on the computer and just that movement right there alone so <clears throat> I may not be getting back to comments for a while but I'll always like in my left hand is becoming very uh I've always been a little ambidextrous, not much, but my mother was a lefty, so um, I can still, you know, do the hearts, and I don't want to stop making YouTube videos. I do not feel like creating any art right now uh, for the first time. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep getting emotional. <clears throat> I am okay, though. I want you to know I really am, and when I get emotional <laughs> I go with it and I let it let it come out but I didn't want to do this to you guys because but it is what it is and I share everything with you right I am okay but it's a lot right um, <clears throat> so I if I, I hope I can inspire you guys to take care of yourselves too and I'll keep you posted on my journey I'm not you know foolishly going you know push come to shove I want to be around you guys so I'll do anything it takes but right now I'm in total healing mode and I'm just focused on the shoulder and I'm staying focused on visualizing myself whole and healthy and back at making art that's where I started Gypsy and the Witch first month that I haven't done a project for the Gypsy and the Witch you know and art is very healing for me but I just haven't been feeling it and I've been very busy and I'm going to share with you what I've been very busy with so that's where we're at okay and there's more but uh, let me show you a few things first and then I'll jump into uh, the Gerson method which is what I'm using to treat myself so um, it has been a couple weeks so I've, I don't know if I showed this to you two weeks ago but if I didn't I have gotten myself my complete book of essential oils and aromatherapy um, a few of you had recommended this including my dear friend and sister Carol from Spirit Sense Apothecary uh, and I'll talk about her again in a minute but this is a nice big fat chunky book you guys and I love it so I've been uh, learning a lot more about essential oils I've been incorporating a lot of frankincense into um, you know rubbing on my shoulder and um, you know I always have the diffuser going and Tom got me I'll show you um, I'll well, I already gave you the tour of the kitchen, but he got me an ionizer, an air ionizer to put positive ions in the air. Um, yeah, so there's good stuff. But anyway, so I got that book. And before I forget, this is a Christmas card that I got, excuse me, from Ruth Taylor Hamlin. And Ruth, I apologize. It's taken me so long to show this, sister. I, I thank you for your Christmas greetings holiday greetings and I'm sending holiday greetings right back to you and blessings to you and to all of you guys all year round and so sorry it took me so long to, to show that but you guys rock so much love you so much and speaking of Carol okay Spirit Sense Apothecary she has been so generous with me in the past I mean has blessed me a thousandfold but the most recent things she sent me were those wax melts and the soaps and things well this week or last week uh, in the mail and I've taken all these out of the box because I want to show you and I'm, I haven't had a chance to use everything Carol but 
let me just, I'll show you guys. She sent me this cortisone herbal tea blend, including some muslin tea bags. And to tell you the truth, sister, I have not yet tried this. I've been doing so much other stuff, which I'll show you in a minute, but I will try this and I am drinking, drinking no coffee now at all. Cold turkey went off the coffee. Cold turkey went off my gum, thank God. Uh, and cold turkey went off all salt, all salt, and all fat. But I'll talk more about that. But anyway, I haven't tried this yet, but I will. And thank you for the tea bags. I really needed those. Um, she also sent me, which I had never heard of, this Akawama seed powder. And this is for pain relief. Sorry about that, guys. My battery keeps dying in my camera. And so I just plugged you in now. So we should be all right. I don't know where I left off. I think I was showing you the oil blend from Carol, I think. Uh, anyway, this is a sleepy time blend. If I didn't show it to you, I'll show you again. And it smells, I can smell lavender and I think chamomile, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. And again, I'll have to look back and see where it cut off. But she also gave me this trauma oil blend. Uh, for to rub on topically uh, onto my shoulder, which I have used and I like a lot. And one thing that she has sent me in addition to everything else that has been so helpful and I'm going to continue to buy and use this is this CBD cream. And this is legal in all states and it's smells like Vicks Vapo Rub. This is menthol and it is so effective. I just rub it onto my shoulder and it's super healing. Um, Tom actually got some of this at his massage therapist and gave me a, another jar. It is very, very pricey, uh, but it is very, very worth it. And I am 100% for the use of medical marijuana in all of its forms and I'm here to tell you that this has worked. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in my store if I remember. Uh, again, this is going to be a short vlog. I'm, it's hard for me to do any editing. I'm not making excuses. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on um, and how blessed I am. Um, again, have I told you how blessed I am? So, uh, thank you very much to Carol and everyone else, and thank you to Tom, oh my God. Um, yeah, and, oh, one other thing, <laughs> I'm turning on my heating pad again, that I wanted to show you, remember I told you I wanted to rearrange my closet again? Well, that's been on the back burner, but um, when I do get to it, I was very optimistic and I ordered some new hangers. And I got a lot of new hangers from Amazon and they're very, they're like velvety and I've never had like new grown up hangers before. So now I do. And when I decide to, um, I'll show you, I'm opening this right now. Yeah, they're like velvet padded. Isn't that cool? Can you even see that? I'm not going to apologize for the lighting. It is what it is. Although I look really <laughs> short down here. Um, yeah, so I got some like grown up hangers. So my silky dresses and stuff don't fall off of uh, the plastic and no wire hangers, right? Joan Crawford. Oh my goodness. Mommy dearest. <gasps> uh, I read that book a couple times. So I got a bunch of them. There's a big box here. There's like I don't know, 150 to 100 new hangers. I forget exactly how much I got. So, uh, cheers. I am going to cheers you again. And the tea that I am drinking right now. Uh, and again, good old Tom, who does his research and has stood by me a thousand percent. This is called Graviola Tea, made from a soursop plant. And I am not going to go into a lot of details about these things because honestly, you guys, I am just learning about all of this stuff. I've been flooding my brain with information on everything this past two weeks in addition to trying to implement 
this healing program. So, uh, but this is part of my healing program and I take two cups of this a day and I also have a graviola supplement and I do take, um, I have been taking turmeric, I take vitamin C, I take a, a good multivitamin, um, biotin, magnesium, folic acid, mm, an aspirin a day, my coumadin. I think that's it for the meds. Is that true? I don't know. You didn't ask. I'm telling you. Okay, this is the main thing I want to tell you about. You know, can I move this camera down? Sorry, maybe not. I feel like I'm so short. Let me sit on a pillow. I'm going to sit up. That's where are you guys. Ah. Oh. There we go. Hi. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, okay. This is what I want to talk about. This is go has become my life for the last two weeks, and this will continue to uh, be my life. And again, can I tell you, Tom has jumped right on this with me, and he's not following it as stringently as I am, but he is. I'm, I'm not a doctor. I am an RN. This is what I've decided to do for my own health treatment plan. Please, 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 before, if you guys make any changes or think about making changes, always consult with your own practitioners. You know, do what's right for you. But this is what I've decided to do in order to heal myself. Uh, and I am in this intensely. And basically, in a nutshell, in a sh very short nutshell, I um, mean, I encourage you, there's... Um, Charlotte Gerson is still, there's YouTube videos on the Gerson therapy. Max Gerson is the name of the doctor. Uh, he was born in the late 18, very briefly, born in the late 1800s, was a physician who came up with a revolutionary treatment for severe migraines using diet and uh, was present, presented his findings and then was given a challenge almost, I think, by another physician with people who had uh, patients with tuberculosis that were in end stages of their disease, terminally ill patients, and out of something like, don't quote me, something like 500 patients, he cured all of them 100% with the exception of like five or six or something. Insane. And in addition to curing the tuberculosis, it cured everything else that ailed them. It was a cure for the whole body. And it uses strictly, and it's very, very stringent, and I'm so thankful that I've already gone vegan and that I've already made these changes. I can't imagine this happening in my life when I was still smoking and drinking and eating like crap. I mean, I've had the last, it'll be 10 years for me in February since I've quit smoking cigarettes. It's been 12 years since I've had a drink. Um, it, again, I've been vegetarian. I became vegetarian five years ago, vegan two years ago. So I've been on this increased health kick thank you. You know, I am so thankful for that because it would be so much harder to go from the lifestyle I had to this because you guys, if you thought that I was, you know, had, was strict with my diet, which really I wasn't. I'm just, some people think a vegan diet is so radical. It's really not. But this allows for fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, oatmeal, which I'm not an oatmeal girl, and I am now. Oatmeal, and I have raisins in here, and uh, some stevia. Fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, oatmeal, potatoes, um, you know, things like onion, garlic, um, no spicy peppers, no soy, no miso, no soy sauce, no salt at all in any form. I wish that I could have, like, Himalayan salt, but... That's my biggest problem, you guys, and that's been my biggest issue with this. And it's a regimen of intense juicing, so hence the juicer being out again. I ha literally have a schedule of when I'm supposed to be juicing. Um, you also take flaxseed oil, and I'll talk about this again in a minute. I just got this yesterday, and it's already changed my life and Tom's life. Um, I'll be getting castor oil treatments. And one thing that I have not yet mentioned about the treatment that everybody mentions about the treatment um, that seems so radical uh, is the fact that it utilizes coffee enemas. Yes, you heard me right. 
coffee enemas. I got a brand new stainless steel enema bucket, which I'm not going to show you. It's just a bucket and it has a tube and there are videos and how to videos. If you don't know how to give an enema, um, and I know that's TMI, but I'm sharing this with you guys because this is how I'm choosing to heal. And the theory behind all of this is hypernutrition, like flooding your cells and flushing out all the sodium, which is preventing, you know, potassium. And it's allowing for better electrical conductivity between everything. And there's so much, you guys. I can't even go into it. Um, I've ordered... The other books, um, the actual biography of Max Gerson, I had ordered for my Kindle back in 2013, which I thought was very ironic when I looked up on Amazon. I was like, oh my God. So I've been aware of this and I've actually recommended this treatment to other people who, you know, and this is good for any illness, you guys. This isn't just, you know, something I'm going through. This is for everything from rheumatoid arthritis, skin conditions, uh, obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, everything. Okay. So it's rigid. And let me tell you, it's hardcore. And I started this hardcore. And in addition to my daily journal, which I've been keeping up with, and again, no coffee by mouth, no gum. I did all this, you know, coffee by butt. Hello. And you do get, um, you do feel the caffeine. But that opens up your bile ducts in your liver like, and allows for release of toxins something like 600% more than, you know. And your organs, your body is designed to maintain homeostasis or maintain a state of health on its own naturally. But we spend our lives polluting it with environmental factors, our diets, our lifestyles, our, you know all of it. So our organs can't do the jobs that they're supposed to do as effectively. So I am helping it along. And I think some of you saw my goddess provisions unboxing last week where I got this uh, journal and I've been keeping a detailed journal um, of, I started on the 13th with this plan and today's the 17th. So I've been at it for four days now, hardcore, and it's literally juicing and enemas and supplements. And the schedule is very, you know, it's like 6 a.m. coffee enema, 8 a.m. breakfast with fresh squeezed orange juice and vitamin supplements, excuse me, 9 a.m. green juice, 9.30 carrot apple juice. And all of these are like recommended supplements too which I don't have the Gerson supplements yet. I do want to run all this by the oncologist. I'm hoping that he's going to be on board um, and open-minded and we'll see. But again, I'm not going to leap ahead of things, but there are certain supplements, digestive enzymes, thyroid supplements, uh, iodine solution, Mm, other there's I have them written down to ask the doctor about and that's another thing I'm writing down questions I want to go through um, I want to ask about IV vitamin C I've upped my vitamin C intake uh, tremendously anyway 930 carrot apple juice 10 o'clock coffee enema another carrot apple juice 11 o'clock carrot juice 12 o'clock green juice 1 o'clock lunch carrot and apple juice 2 o'clock coffee enema green juice 3 o'clock carrot juice 4 o'clock carrot juice 5 o'clock, carrot, apple juice. 6 o'clock, coffee, enema, green juice. 7 o'clock, dinner, carrot, and apple juice. 10 o'clock, enema. You're supposed to do a castor oil enema every other day. And then two teaspoons of this flaxseed oil daily. And I can also have, thank God, for potatoes and onions and garlic. Uh, because I'm withdrawing from salt so hard. This is my biggest problem, you guys. Um, but I can also have rye bread with no salt it's called like baltic rye bread and i'm telling you between the local produce stand and things that have surrounded us i'm being i have an abundance of fresh organic produce and again tom thank you oh, baby I, I can't even anyway uh tom brought me home this piece of baltic rye bread he didn't know that it was allowed on the plan and he was like maybe you could 
and I can have that, and I can also have oat bread that's not made with anything else, um, and I can have Ezekiel, Ezekiel bread, which I'm really excited about because that's living um, sprouted and, you know, sprouted grains. I cannot have beans. Oh, I'm so sad about that. And they used to recommend rice, but lately I think arsenic has been found in rice. I don't know. If I do have any rice, it'll be like organic brown rice, and I'll keep it limited. But last night I made a in-between. So, you guys, I have stuck to this plan, this original plan, the first day, and I just about went insane. And again, Tom and my friends are tripping over themselves to come help me. But I'm very private by nature, and a lot of this stuff, I'm not going to be... I, I want to do as much as I can while I, you know, as I can while I continue to heal, you know. So, um, what's my point? I totally lost it. Oh, uh, anyway, so I'm trying to balance it out with what's working for me, you know, until I hear any differently. And again, I have no diagnostic results of anything yet. But so far, I feel amazing. In just four days, I feel 10 pounds lighter. My skin feels like it's glowing. Um, besides the pain in my shoulder, I have a lot of energy, you know. So my point is, last yesterday, I made a soup with uh, onion, sautéed on no oil. So sautéed onion in just water with garlic and leeks, chopped leeks and then potatoes and broccoli and vegetable broth, which I had made from, you know, I keep my scraps in the freezer, right? And cooked that up as a soup and then pureed it. And Tom brought me a plethora of salt-free seasonings. You name it, I've got it. From Bragg's to Mrs. Dash to every kind of organic seasoning. I can have unlimited garlic, onion powder, things like that. Um, again, nothing spicy, which is kind of sad, but this is for right now and I'm going hardcore. So, um, as things, you know, progress, I'm thinking that it, w it won't be quite so intense, but I made the soup and then, uh, and Tom's been here and staying with me and, and I also chopped up some tomatoes and I had gotten this flaxseed, um, and I think Amazon, the UPS man is going to be coming all week because I've ordered a bunch of stuff. As I see things I think I need, I'm ordering it. Um, and one of them, and this is recommended that I have two tablespoons of flaxseed oil a day. And this is the only oil. No oil on my skin. No oil. No avocado. Oh. Oh. Anyway, uh, it, for now, right? But this came, and I've never, I've had flaxseed powder, I've had ground flaxseed, I've never tried straight up flaxseed oil. Well, I had chopped a tomato, and I took two tablespoons of the flaxseed oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and I, I'm not supposed to have oregano either, but I took the tiniest little pinch of oregano, and I mixed it with the tomatoes, like a salad dressing, like a balsamic vinaigrette, and then I took some of that rye bread, and it's very dense, you know? And I've never been a rye bread fan, but let me tell you, I am now. I cut it into diced cubes, so it was like croutons, and mixed it in with the tomato. Oh, my God. And Tom loved it, too. So I was so happy to have to add flaxseed. Yay, flaxseed! Um, and oatmeal starting to grow on me a little bit, too. So this is what my days are going to be consisting of, you guys. And if I have the energy and the time to film and do a vlog I will it might not always be on a Wednesday maybe you know I'll switch it up during the week but I have to put this low on my pre you know filming not you guys but the actual filming is gonna go down um, and you know how much I love it but um, I have to just take care of myself and it physically hurts me to have to work with the computer right now and do that editing do that crafting. So I'm not going to project anything. I would love to be able to keep up with the Dyson deal and the Gypsy and the Witch. That is my goal. Um, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And I don't know where this takes us, but I'm so happy to have you guys along with me on this journey. And I don't even know if I can express, I say this again, I'm going to try not to get emotional again. I hope you know how much you all mean to me. 
it has been the work you know knowing I have your support I want to be a positive inspiring force and I want to you know I want to help here so I hope I can help you guys as I help myself and um, I've also oh before I forget speaking of tea I also ordered um, Essiac tea and it's funny uh, my friend Steve shout out to Steve's music recommended it to Tom and I, he's like have you ever heard of this and no and of course I went crazy doing research again and I sure enough I went on Amazon and I ordered it and I'm going to start brewing some Essiac tea E-S-S-I-A-C uh, it's uh, the woman who originally discovered this tea was given the recipe by an Indian tribe again like in the 1930s or 40s um, I forget the name of the tribe I apologize and she began brewing this she was a nurse and began brewing this tea and under a doctor's oversight uh, she was able to treat treat right uh, cancer patients terminally ill cancer patients by the thousands until of course the FDA and uh, as they are want to do uh, come in and um, you know they shut that down you're not allowed to treat any uh, I don't want to say the word cancer but you're not allowed to treat that with you know doctors are allowed to uh, treat with radiation with surgery with chemotherapy and with pharmacology that's it that's what they're allowed to do they're not allowed to recommend herbal treatments they can't endorse this stuff the Gerson clinic that is existing is in uh, Tijuana Mexico and there's also a very well-renowned healing clinic in Arizona um, and the name escapes me right now but so I'm on it I'm in full-on healing mode you guys and again I thank you for your love and support uh, welcome new subbies if you've joined me uh, recently um, what a welcome but this is it so I will try to keep you updated as much as I can you guys but I am uh, if you I think I hit 5,000 friends on Facebook so thank you so I don't know if I can add any more friends over there but you can follow me and I still post my daily music um, today's theme was the theme from the monkeys <laughs> here we come Walking down the street, we get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Yeah, that one. So, you know the song. Sing along. I'm in good spirits. I'm telling you. I, I've got this, and, and that's it. So, I've done enough talking for today, and thanks for sticking around. Maybe I'll do a journal flip. You know, I might be doing things that don't take too much energy, and... Who knows? You'll see me when you see me, but I'm here and I'm thriving and I'm sending you much peace, much love, ear tugs for those beautiful grandchildren of mine, special hugs to my kids and um, Tom and Nick, of course, and all you guys. I love you so much, okay? So I'll talk to you soon and take care.